hello guys welcome back to ses ltd deals if you are new here make sure you subscribe to our channel to get the best lifetime deals on ses software i am back with another review and today i am going to review pismo so pismo is an ai assistant that you can use in order to write proofread translate or use this as a grammarly alternative so basically this is an ai writing tool or more like ai assistant that works literally anywhere so it is not a chrome extension that's why you are not limited to working with pismo only on chrome browser it is an application that is why you can use it literally anywhere and the best part is pismo application is available for multiple platforms or devices so if you have windows you can get the windows application there are also applications for mac and no matter if you have mac that is powered by apple silicon or if you have mac that is powered by intel there are applications for both of these platforms or devices and you might be curious in order to improve writing what kind of ai model pismo is using so currently it is using gpt40 mini and pismo is currently available on appsumo as a lifetime deal the regular price is over 70 dollars but at appsumo you are getting this tool at only 29 dollars and there are already 10 reviews most of them are five star reviews so now let's have a look at all the plans and features so here are all the features there is assistant for writing and translation you can generate fast and high quality replies there are hotkeys for quick use anywhere you can access the ai easily from mac or pc application there is also custom prompt creation so obviously there are some pre-made prompts given but if you do not like them you can also create your own custom prompt and then these are two tiers that you can buy from AppSumo. So the tier one is going to cost $29. And with this tier, you are going to get 2000 requests per month, this particular limit. So how this request is going to work. So for example, if you select a text and now if you open Pismo, the widget of the application that is going to appear somewhere on this right side. So if you improve your writing, for example, if you select this text and then improve the writing or translate. So for this one task, one request is going to be spent. So basically 2000 requests mean you can ask 2000 questions to AI per month on this tier one. But if you think that is low for you, that is not going to be enough for you, you can choose the license tier two. It is going to cost $99. And here the best part is you can have unlimited requests per month, which means you can ask as many questions as you want to the AI every month there is going to be literally no limit and keep in mind the price of only $29 so the tier 1 is going to cost only $29. This price is going to increase on September 23rd. So if you want to buy it at only $29, the lifetime deal of Pismo, make sure you buy before September 23rd because on this particular date, the price is going to increase. And if you want to buy the lifetime deal of Pismo from AppSumo, make sure you check the link in the description below. Also, if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. Watch the full video till the end to know how. Now let me show you how to install and use Pismo. So before I show you how to install it, let me first take a look at all the key features of Pismo. So on their website, you can see they are all of their key features at a glance. So here are all the features. You can translate any text to any language. You can improve the writing. And as I said earlier, you can use Pismo anywhere that you can write. So it could be any application on your PC. It could be Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, Notepad, wherever you want, you can use Pismo. So back to the features, you can also make your text shorter or longer you can fix spelling or grammar just like grammarly so if you're using grammarly if you're paying for their subscription i'm pretty sure it is very costly so if you want to get rid of that just get pismo on a lifetime deal because it is obviously going to do the job of grammarly but it can also do more than that it can translate improve writing and do a lot of more things and as i said earlier you can also create custom prompt you can change the tone of text so there are a lot of features and in order to install pismo what you have to do is first log in logging with your account so if you already have an account make sure you log in or you can also continue or sign up with your google account so once you have successfully logged in you're going to get a page just like this one so now you have to install their application according to your platform or device so i have windows i'm going to install this particular application but if you have mac mac os you can also download this one there are two different applications for mac so if you have apple silicon chip you can download this one and for intel users you can also download this one and once you download the application make sure you follow the standard installation procedure 
So as you can see, I have downloaded Pismo and also installed it. So here is my application. Now let me open it. So once you open it on the right side, you are going to see the widget of Pismo and now it has opened or it has launched. So it is going to remain open until you exit it from the taskbar. So now I can literally type any text anywhere and I can also improve that text. So as you can see now I have opened notepad on my computer. So let me type something. So as you can see, I have typed some text on the notepad application and intentionally I made some very severe grammatical mistakes. So now I want Pismo to improve it. So let me show you how I can do that. So first of all, I'm going to select this text and then now I'm going to click on this Pismo and just see the text has appeared on Pismo. So this is how it is going to scrap the text no matter where you are. So obviously I have a lot of grammatical mistakes. So I want Pismo to fix spelling as well as grammar. So let me select this one. So just see this was the original text and from this original text I have got this AI result and it has fixed all the grammatical mistakes that I made on the original text. And once you generate your text, once you improve your text or once you get the output from the AI, there are also some options that are going to be available on this Pismo widget. So you can replace the selection. So I have selected this particular text on the background as you can see on the notepad I have selected this text and then I brought this text on Prismo. So if I click on this replace, this original text on notepad is going to be replaced with this AI result. So let me show you how this is going to work. And as you can see, it has been totally replaced. So there were some serious grammatical mistakes, but now the whole text has been replaced by the text that I have got from the AI. And as you can see now on my computer, I have opened another application. This is Microsoft Word. So as I said before, Pismo is going to work literally anywhere, anywhere you can type your text. So here's another text. It is written in Spanish. So for example, now I want Pismo to translate this text. So for that, all I have to do is just first select this text. And once I select, I just have to click on this Pismo. And as you can see, once again, Pismo have scrapped or collected this text. So now in order to translate this particular Spanish text, I want it to translate to English. So let me select this one. And as you can see, we have got a very accurate translation of this Spanish text into English. So once again, I can also replace this selection. This particular Spanish text on the Microsoft Word is going to be replaced by this AI result. I can also copy it to my clipboard. So if I do not want to replace, I can also copy it to clipboard in order to paste it somewhere else. I can insert it below. I can continue with another prompt, which means continue this text with another prompt. I can regenerate if I do not like this particular output. I can try another prompt. I can also discard or hide this widget or show it. So for example, now I just want to replace this selection and as you can see, it has been replaced. So this is exactly how the Pismo widget is going to work. Now once again, let me select this text and open Pismo. Now other than translating or fixing spelling and grammar, I can also improve the writing. So as you can see, the writing has now been improved. And the best part is I do not always have to select the pre-given prompt. So these are all the pre-given prompt. So I can translate to English, improve writing, fix spelling, summarize, make shorter, make the text shorter or longer, translate it to French. So these are all the pre-given prompt, quick prompts. But if you do not want to use them, you can also provide your separate, your custom instruction to the AI on this box. For example, I want to translate this text to German. So as you can see, there are no German options. So I can just ask the AI to do that. So as you can see, now I'm asking it to translate this particular text into German. So let me send this. And as you can see, now this particular text has been translated into German. So this is how you can also provide your own custom instruction, your own prompt. You can talk to the AI and ask it to do anything on this particular box. Just write whatever you want and it is going to deliver exactly that. Now I have already showed you that Pismo is going to work literally anywhere on your computer. So similar to how you use it on your desktop, you can also use it on the browser. So as you can see, currently I am on X or Twitter. So I have opened a profile and for example, I want to open a post. I want to open this particular post. And now, for example, I want to reply to this post. So what I want to do is just select this text and then I'm going to click on this Pismo. And now I'm going to ask the AI to generate some replies. 
So as you can see, I have exactly written that generate some replies for this social media post. So now I'm just going to send my query. And as you can see, the AI has given me overall 10 different replies that I can use. And if you properly read these replies, you will understand that all of these replies are very relevant to this particular post. So this is how you can also use Pismo on social media in order to reply. So let me show you how you can reply to emails super easily. So as you can see, I have received this email and now I want to, for example, reply to this email. So all I have to do is just select this. So I'm just going to select this and now I'm going to open Pismo. And now on this box, I'm going to ask it to reply. So I want the AI to reply to this email in a positive manner. So I'm just going to send my query. And as you can see, we have got a full email and just see how amazing the writing quality is. So I have got the full reply to this email from Pismo, which is amazing. So now I can just copy it to my clipboard and reply it. So these are basically a few things out of thousands of things that you can do with Pismo. And as I said earlier, these are all the pre-given prompts or quick prompts. But for example, there is a prompt, there is a command that you use frequently, but that prompt is not available on this quick prompt section. So now you want to bring that. So how you can do that? You can do that with the custom AI prompt. So for that, on this Pismo icon or the widget, right click on your mouse and then go to these settings. So as you can see, these are all the standard prompts and there are some prompts that are not selected so this translate to French and then the Mac longer Mac shorter so these prompts are selected or checked that's why they are appearing when you open the widget but if you want this right cold email this particular prompt there's also the sales offer prompt refresh prompt so for example if you want them to appear on Pismo you all you have to do is just check that so as you can see I have checked it now I have to save it Okay, it has been saved. So now if I open Pismo once again, as you can see this right cold email, this prompt is now appearing. So now I can also use this as a quick prompt in order to write cold email anywhere. And as I said about the custom prompt, so let me show you how you can do that. Right click on here, go to settings and in order to make your custom prompt, click on this add prompt. So new prompt has been created. So you have to provide the prompt name on here and then provide your actual prompt on here on this particular command section. So let me show you how this is going to work. For example, I want to write a prompt that is going to give me some interesting facts. So for example, the name is going to be facts prompt. So now I have to write the detail prompt, detail command on here for this prompt, the custom prompt that I want to create. So as you can see, this is my command or the prompt. This is the name. And now if I just save it, this prompt is going to be saved. Let me show you. So once you click on the save button, the custom prompt is going to be saved and the custom prompt is not going to be available on the standard section. It is always going to be available on this custom prompt section. And if you enable this option, quick prompt, if you enable this option for your custom prompt, it is going to appear on the quick prompt. Let me show you how that is going to work. So as you can see now, if I open the widget once again, so here's the prompt. Here's the prompt that I just saved the custom prompt that I just created. So this is basically how the custom prompts are going to work. There is also a open prompt prompt generator let me see what that is okay so pismo has their own prompt generator i think this is a custom gpt that helps you create custom prompt probably a very detailed prompt so if you do not know how to create a prompt by yourself or if you're struggling to create a very detailed prompt you can also use this custom gpt in order to come up with a very detailed prompt and then there is also this hotkey option. So using the hotkey, you can super easily open Pismo anywhere. And the best part is you can select separate hotkeys for separate prompts. So for example, if I regularly use this translate to English, this particular prompt, as you can see, the hotkey is already selected. So I can simply press CTRL plus shift plus E in order to use this quick prompt translate to English. And for improved writing, I can also use this hotkey. And obviously I can also change it all I have to do is just click on this, this icon, and then this hotkey is going to be deleted. Then you can set your own hotkey. So let me show you how this hotkey is going to work. Let me open a text that I want to translate to English. So as you can see, I have opened a Spanish article. So for example, I want to translate this part into English. So all I have to do is select this part and then on my keyboard, I'm going to press CTRL or Control plus Shift plus E.
and as you can see the ai has automatically opened and just see how amazingly it works so here is the original text that i selected from here and here is the text that has been translated into english so this is exactly how you can make use of the hotkeys so let me show you once again so the best part is as i said earlier for different prompt you can select different hotkeys so for this translate to english this particular hotkey is selected and then for improve writing i have this hotkey and the new prompt that i just created facts prompt i can also select a custom hotkey for here so all i have to do is just record the hotkeys on here so overall i think pismo is an excellent tool that lets you use the ai assistant literally anywhere you can type your text i'm pretty sure we have seen a lot of similar tools to pismo like voila voila has to be one of the best alternatives but even for voila if you remember at first it had only extension for such a long time so you could not really use voila out of your chrome browser and there are also some other ai tools that are really good ai assistant but they are limited to browser extension but for for Pismo that is not the case it has dedicated applications for Mac as well as Windows in order to let you use AI assistant anywhere in your computer. So if you want to buy the lifetime deal of Pismo on AppSumo make sure you check the link in the description below. With this tool these are two tiers that you can buy. And keep in mind after 4 days the price is going to increase so make sure you hurry if you want to purchase it. So if you are new to AppSumo, you can get 10% off your first purchase. For that, go to the link in the description. And once you enter the link, you are going to get a pop-up like this. And on this box, you have to provide your email. Then click on unlock my 10%. And then you will get a link in your email. Go to that link. And this way you can get 10%. You have to use it from AppSumo Credits gift. And this 10% discount is only for new customers. You can also join our SaaS discussion group on Facebook to get latest updates on SaaS software, exciting discounts and attractive giveaways just like this.